What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as D365Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate, we're talking about expressions and functions, and we're going to talk about the join function. So this is the last in the collection functions in Power Automate. So what is join? Join is the ability to take an array and then join the separate values that you've got in an array, like the objects, and then specify a separator in them. So this could be useful for things like um, integration programs that may require data in a certain format and you need to separate that by using a, a, a delimiter. Um, so something like a keyword, um, some special characters on a keyboard, something like that. And we can specify that using the join command. So let's take a look at it. I've got my uh, manual flow here. So it's just a manual trigger flow with um, a couple of variables in it. So this variable is a list uh, called list and it's an array and we've got these different values here. So we've got four different um, values of first name, last name and email. So we'll go down to the propose action. We'll click on expression. Uh, we will uh, just move that a little bit. Uh, we will um, expand, see more, and then we will go down to uh, join. So we'll click on join, and we can see that this has got two parameters that we need to add in. So one is the collection, and one is the delimiter. So collection is the array that you're putting into it, and the delimiter, delimiter is what you're going to separate those values with. So uh, what we're going to choose is we're going to choose list, for the uh, first, um, the collection that we're putting in, uh, we're gonna. You can't really see because of the uh, the way. You can't really see because of the way the um, the tooltip tries to help you, but it's not really helping me. Uh, we'll choose join again. We'll choose list. We'll hit a comma. We'll put in quotation marks, uh, and then we will choose um, a couple of dashes. So what this will do is this will run through the array, it'll find all the values and it'll separate them by two dashes. So we'll click OK. Uh, just a note, you need to actually put your delimiter uh, in single quotation marks as well, just to make sure it works. So we'll click on test. I will perform the trigger action. Uh, we'll run the flow, flow run, and we'll expand this. So. This is uh, this is what we're getting. So the um, the values that we had in that first array, we've got all of them still in here, but instead of commas separating them, we've got uh, these two dashes separating them instead. So again, these are quite handy for things like integrations, where you may need to um, separate things out with certain delimiters um, so that you can process the data better, or maybe you want to split this out and the split that you're going to use is this delimiter. So maybe you'll use another function later on to uh, put this into a CSV file, but we'll uh, find out where the breaks are in the CSV by using those delimiters. So what do you guys think? Is this something you use a lot? Is it not something you use? Is it something you'll use going forward? I'd like to know in the comments down below. Um, as always, if you like this video, please like and please share this video with your friends. If you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you next time.